Hey guys, it's Wednesday, February the 3rd. <laughs> it was a little scary today in class. We had a, um, a lockdown and it happened to be a drill, even though they made it seem like that it was real. There were officers screaming, get down, get down in the halls. Yeah, so if you were with me in class, <laughs> thank y'all for hanging out with me. If not, then just be thankful that you missed that. So for today, for review, I asked the class to um, just describe some of the barriers to planning. So some things that get in the way of seeing a plan through. Um, and they can be lack of resources like money and space. It can be lack of training for your managers. Um, they don't know how to lead. Uh, it can be, you know, we don't have enough time. Some people or some of your employees may be scared, scared to fail. Um, they may say, well, you know, this is so hard. We didn't have enough time to complete it. Okay, so there's all kinds of barriers to planning. Now, new stuff. We talked about different types of plans. The first one that we talked about is a strategic plan. And you can see with this man right here, he's thinking of a strategy to help get McDonald's expanded into some of the countries in the Middle East. So that would be his strategy. So remember your top level management, they come up with a mission and the vision statement for your company. And they are in charge of leading the entire organization um, in, in, a, in a good direction over the next two years, five years, 10 years. So they just decide on where they want the company to go. And this is done by top level managers. Next is a tactical plan. So this is the plan that actually puts the top level managers, their vision into action. So we're going to stick with McDonald's. So with a technical plan, they try to figure out, okay, who's going to do what, who's going to be in charge, how are we going to get this done? So for this example, we're going to use the Travis Scott um, advertising campaign with McDonald's. So if top management has decided that they want to expand and they want to reach their target audience by using television advertising, then they're going to decide on, okay, how are we going to advertise this message? To what audience, what demographics, um, what air, what um, station are we going to play these on? What channels are we going to put it on the radio? And who are our potential customers? Your operational plans, that's day-to-day -day activities. So setting goals for each day and then figuring out how you're going to reach those goals. So an example, maybe your manager at McDonald's helps to verify um, the cashier's drawer at the end of each shift. And then just remember you have those goals. So maybe a goal would be to double check the drawers three times a shift. Um, and then maybe if incorrect change is given, um, then just inform the manager immediately. You have a single use plan. This would be something that's used one time and then it's changed. So a budget, um, a purchase order, like if you're low on inventory and you fill out a sheet that tells the company what you need, um, an invoice. So from that purchase order, you get those products in, your lettuce, your tomatoes, whatever you're low on, your bacon, you get those products in and um, the company will include an invoice, which is a bill. So purchase orders, invoices, budgets, those are all single use plans. They're used one time, they don't repeat. And then you have a, a, a continuing or ongoing plan. This would be like your employee handbook. So at school, we have a, a student handbook. So a policy um, would maybe be like um, if, you have less than three absences and an A in the class, then you can be exempt from a teacher made exam. And then you have procedures like a, a tornado drill, how each class has a path where they go downstairs, they line up on the wall and then they cover their head. So a procedure just a step-by-step -step plan of action. And then a rule, it's like a law, um, but rules are for businesses and organizations. Um, so a rule would be like no eating and drinking in the classroom um, or no eating and drinking outside the cafeteria except for water. So these are plans that 
stay in place for the company over long periods of time and they can be updated and altered, but not very often. And then the last one is a contingency plan. This is just an alternate plan. If our original plan is not working, what's a different way that we could accomplish this goal? So just alternate choices. I gave you guys an example, you know, if the little shower curtains are not working <laughs> for making customers feel safe, you might need to spend some more money and actually have individual cubicles for people to eat. And that's what we covered today. So go into Canvas, do your exit ticket. Remember your project to manage this is due Friday. Um, so try to go ahead and get that into me and then I'll see you guys soon.